nice to see you again. This is my third video this week, I think, so I am on a roll. So proud of myself. Uh, today is going to be a very glam makeup look. It's a little bit more heavy on the eye makeup than I usually do. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. All right, starting off with the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Prep Spray all over Z Face. Love this stuff. And then I will go in with my MAC Long, Pro Longwear Concealer. This is the best stuff, I personally think, at priming your eyeshadow for the rest of the day. I've used tons of eyeshadow primers, and I honestly think that this works the best at keeping your eyeshadow staying in its place. So I definitely prefer this. Plus, it doesn't get cakey, plus it doesn't crease. It's just amazing stuff. If I keep looking down, it's because Sunny, my puppy, is down there driving me nuts, so yeah. And then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This is in the color Coco. Again, this is another product that I'm absolutely obsessed with because not only is the color pretty awesome, but it stays all day, and especially if you're gonna use this under an eyeshadow, it will work even harder to keep that foundation, not foundation, to keep that eyeshadow lasting all day long and keep it from creasing. So I just kind of like mark up my eyelid and then I use my ring finger just to kind of blend it in and move it around a little bit. And then I'm taking my Pro Palette in the color Taupe with a fluffy brush. I'm painting that, blending that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going in with the Pro Palette again in the color Sable. And this time I'm taking an angled crease brush and just blending that into the crease. And then I'm going in with espresso and a pencil brush. Now for this, I'm just going to kind of draw out kind of a triangle on my outer angle of my eye. And this is gonna give it a little bit more of like a cat eye effect. And then we're gonna go in in a minute and just blend it all out. This is just going to give a little bit more depth to your eye and kind of add to that smokiness. And then I'm going to take a goat hair blending brush and use the color black for that outer corner and then again this is just to give the eye a little bit more depth and you're just going to take that black and blend it in over that outer V. And take your time with this because you do want it to not have any, I'm, oh god, <laughs> I'm making fun of my crazy faces that I do when I blend stuff out. Oh there you go, another face. Um, and then, yeah, you just want to make sure that you're really taking your time to blend this out so that way there's no harsh lines or anything. And then once that's blended out, I'm going to take a shading brush and use the color Pewter and just dab that in from like the middle of my eye down towards the center of my eye towards my nose. This is just going to give it a little bit more shine and a little bit more dimension. Ta-da! And that's the look we have going so far. Nice face. And then we'll go in with champagne, and we're just gonna dab this in the inner corners of our eyes just to brighten that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with cream. I don't usually like shimmery colors for my highlight underneath my brow bone, so I just use that matte color, and you can really use any brush just to kind of brighten up that brow bone a little bit to kind of give your eyebrows a little bit more definition. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go in with espresso and the pencil brush again and just line the underneath of your eye to give it a little bit more of a smoky effect there. And 
then of course the Benefit Professional. This is a staple item of mine. I really cannot live without this stuff. It really does do a good job of minimizing your pores and I think it makes your makeup last a little bit longer too. Some people don't. I disagree. And so once you have that all over your face or at least where your pores are most prominent, using the Lasting Silk UV Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I actually just bought this stuff and I'm testing it out first before I really give you guys my full-on opinion of it, but so far I'm really liking it. I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend it all in. If you have any areas of the eyeshadow that are kind of messy, you can use the beauty blender to your advantage to just kind of shape the eyeshadow a little bit. So you'll see me do that in a second. Anastasia Brow Wiz. Mine is in the color Ash Blonde. Uh, I'm just going to speed through this here because I do already have a video on how I do my eyebrows, so I will link that below if you want to check it out. I'm just testing this one out too. This is the Illamasqua Gel Eyeliner and this is in the color Infinity and I prefer just to use a regular eyeliner brush. I know a lot of people really like to use an angled eyeliner brush or more of like a brow brush. I don't. I just think this, is, this kind of brush is a lot easier to work with when you're using gel liner but that's just my opinion. So I'm just going to line the eyes and then I am going to take it underneath into my waterline as well to kind of define the eye. And then I am going in with the Chanel De Chanel, Soleil De Chanel. This is a cream bronzer, and I'm going in with actually a concealer brush. I think that this is personally the easiest way to contour with a cream bronzer. That's just my opinion, because you can just line out exactly where you want it, and then you can go in just like I'm going to in just a second with a fluffier brush to blend it all out, so that way it's not so chiseled and intense. <laughs> that it has a really natural contour. It's not anything crazy and harsh and out there. It's very, very natural. And then I'm gonna go in with Benefits Rapporteur blush. This is just a perfect rosy colored blush. Definitely not as shimmery as it looks like in the pan, so that's why I'm going to go in with a couple other products to highlight here in just a second. And that is going to be the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm going in with dim light all over my face just to kind of give myself a more of a glow on my skin. And then once I'm done with putting that all over my face, I'm going to go in with, again, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is a limited edition color, nice, in incandescent light. And this one is just Definitely a lot more shimmery than the other two, so it's perfect for highlighting the cheekbones, which is what I'm doing right now. So there you have it. Contoured. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to just go ahead and curl those lashes because here in just a second we are going to put on some falsies. And I am using the Red Cherry eyelashes in number 43. These are really long, thick, wispy, and they really are going to make this look fully come together so I absolutely love them 
And yeah, a lot of people use tweezers to put on lashes, not me. I don't know why. I just find it so much easier just to use my fingers. And yeah, that's just always how I've done it. Sorry, I'm out of the view here for just a second. And then, oh, hi, there we go again. And then again, I'm putting it on the other lash. And again, I'm just using my fingers. I don't know why. I just find it so much easier just to use my hands rather than trying to mess with tweezers. And then I'm going in with one of my all-time favorites. This is Max Lipstick in Cream Cup. This is just the perfect light baby pink. I just absolutely love it. And I use it all the time. And there we have it. Here's a look, a couple different angles, so that way you can actually get a better idea of what it really looks like. And I hope you guys liked it. So this is the finished look after I got my hair done and out of that nasty bun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to be doing a lot more holiday type tutorials here since I'm sure you guys are planning on going to lots of holiday parties and things like that here in the next month or so. If you guys have any requests for videos, definitely leave a comment down below. I will be sure to do those for you. If you haven't already, then please subscribe, thumbs up the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!